Good morning, folks. Let's go back in time to late June of this year. Good morning, folks. You may have heard SpaceX lost the ISS resupply flight and a ton of equipment with it when it literally blew apart 139 seconds after launch. It's the third failed flight in a short period. The anomaly was not in first stage operation and they do not expect any danger to have occurred from the falling pieces to those nearby. Big day for SpaceX as they will make an attempt to come back strong with a launch tonight that you can watch online. Info link is found below. Let's start with another continuing story. Magnetic storms continue with the KP around 6, K index showing 7, and the Q actually hit 8 not that long ago. We're seeing many of the moderate to minor electrical glitches we associate with such events. And you know, electrical fires, power outages, transformer fires, emergency landings, surprise surges and equipment. A couple of these things happen almost every day. I know, because I look. But to see what happens during these solar storm events leaves a diligent observer with little question as to what's happening. Solar flaring. Is that an M2 class eruption? Yes, but alas, the big sunspot did not break the earth face in quiet. He sat silently while the tough guy puffed his chest over to the left at the limb. Big burst. Again, not coming at earth. We'll see those spots tonight. Don't forget his little buddies trying to sneak into the south there as well. Here's the OLR chart from last night's Twitter posting. Indonesia really taking the strongest positive and negative anomalies mashed in right there. There was yet another six-pointer yesterday, again in the heart of the anomaly, along with the second largest quake of the day. Next, we move to an alleged landslide in China. I get the brown coverage intruding into urban areas and the dust in the air, but I am not certain I know what that is, if I may be so bold as to ask for your help in the comment section today identifying this material erupting from the ground. Website members, I'm going to upload the conference videos from Pittsburgh this week. I will keep you informed of when it happens. We've got pressure and radar in our top viewer locations and shots of our star to close. Helio viewers lagging, so it's SDO site downloads as a modest replacement. 6 a.m. Eastern time and that's the news. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe everyone.